Street is worse than I thought. God, the smell. Do you really know what you're doing, Jack? No. No. I shouldn't doubt you, I know. The rent is cheap at least. Very cheap. But more importantly than that or anything, that there's a vacancy right next door to your apartment. I can't wait to move in. Well, being Davis, I'll see, I'll see so much of you. I'll, I'll make me... I'll make me do it. Make me turn. The diary. What a beautiful dump. <laughs> what a beautiful dump. I said this to the landlord when I bought my things here. He thought I was complaining. He said I should have checked out the apartment before I returned it. Before I rented it. He's an idiot. There could have been a swarm of rats, roaches, living in the, uh, the apartment. Or crack addicts for that matter. And I wouldn't give a darn. <laughs> but still, I can't keep it dirty forever. I have to practice my homemaking skills. <laughs> Time to make this dump my home. diary. Just back from a quick jog, gotta stay in shape. And the brownies are just about done. I know, I know, I should I should have kept an eye on them. But I've been doing this for long enough, you know. The brownies are perfect. Not burnt, not raw. Just right. I hope he likes them. Jack, I don't know if I can go on. Who is this girl? I'm the one for you. The only one for you. And yet you. I know this is part of your plan, but I don't have to do it this way. Why are you being so cruel? I have to work now. I don't care. I'll go sleep. The diary. I cried about. I cried all the bad feelings out. Things didn't seem nearly as bad now. Jack is testing me. I have to show him what I have. It takes. There's nothing at all I can do. This. The diary. I met her today, Grace. I hope she doesn't get in the way. She's such a sweet girl. She's, but she's clumsy. She's dropped the plate. My plate, too. My fucking plate. Of course. There's what, cookies and broken pieces of porcelain everywhere. I'm pretty clumsy, too, I guess. I cut myself on a shard when I tried to pick it up. Jack came in just as I got cut. He must have sensed I was hurt. <laughs> there was a lot of blood from a wound so small. The music. Mm. The blood reminded me of the time. It always does. I showed it to Jack. It looked like he was going to vomit. Great acting, Jack. Great acting. I love you. <laughs> Fucking love you. Dear Diary. I've gotten better at playing along with Jack's little game. I, I, I see him a lot more now. Everywhere I go. I nearly half of those times. I'm not even trying to make our paths cross. Pate. I also seen Grace a lot more, too. A lot, a lot, lot more. He's been asking me to go... Th no, no, not Grace's voice. She's been asking me to go somewhere with her, with the chat. And I'm always coming up to my apartment without Jack. She's becoming a real bother, honestly, and I act nice. The girl tells me things about Jack after all. Though, of course, she doesn't know anything about him that I don't. That's because she doesn't really know Jack. But I, but now I know what he's pretending to be like. He told Grace that he has amnesia. It's a little unoriginal, Jack, don't you think? That's okay, though. She believes you. That dumb little... Dear diary, I'm troubled. I'm starting to think that Jack is not pretending. What if he has forgotten all about me? No, he couldn't have that. I need a sign, Jack. Just one little sign. So I know you remember. One sign. Anything is fine. Dear diary... Jack doesn't remember me. I'm pretty sure of it now. I thought it doesn't remember. Darn. But that's a good thing. He doesn't have to act cold on purpose. He hasn't been acting cold on purpose. I'd give him a memory, a little jog, and that'd be that. Good as new. But that also means that he's serious about that Grace girl. We can't have that no no. I'm starting to see your true colors. He's a filthy seductress, all right. Oh, he's also an idiot. Well, she invited me for dinner tomorrow at her apartment. Their apartment, her and Jack's apartment. An apartment they've been sharing together without me. 
Huh? Excuse me? August 16th. Don't you get to make choices in this game? Like, I thought... Just... Terrible day, really awkward. Anna was hovering uh, around me all day. I swear she was there for uh, more like two shifts. How the bell does that work? It's supposed to be read. I, yeah, it's, I couldn't write it all. He's only gone now, and it's after midnight. I guess I should mark this as the seventeenth, then not the sixteenth. Oh, who cares? Now I've to write in the dark, but that's fine. I didn't see it being a problem. So not long after did I write about how Ama came to see me at the store that one time. Yeah. Did she? Not long after that, Grace invited Anna over for dinner. She could have told me before asking Ama. No. Not that I would have said no. I didn't have an excuse to say no. But I mean, she only told Mick about the dimmer a few hours before it. Yes, I was peering for a really relaxing evening. And all of a sudden, Grace says we should start making Dahmer. I don't know. I forgot to tell you, Jack. I shouldn't be so bitter and childish. People forget it, hap it happens. Ins happens. She didn't mean anything bad by it. Still rubbing me the wrong way, though. Anna was going to be invade my honk and to be there for hours. And I'm pretty sure I had every right to be angry about thabbed, at thabbed, tbat, tbat. No, I'm sure I should have uh, sent her packing the first time I saw her. And then uh, when she moved in next to us, and a million times after that, I should have. Fault's mine. Fault is mine. So yeah, dimmer. Dimmer. It's dimmer time. The food tastes amazing, Jack. Thanks. I barely made anything. Chapter four. Goodbye. That's not true, is it? You were in charge of the rice. Yeah, the rice. It ended up mushy. Oh well, no, Jack's voice. It ended up mushy. I think it's delicious. Anna ate it like it was the tastiest thing in the world. An idea popped into my mind. If I bore her, she might leave early. Thanks. But the chicken is much better. And it's incredible how you could have made anything decent in the oven we have, Grace. Oh, don't talk about the oven, Jack. It's embarrassing. I bet if you've never seen a greasier oven, Anna, I swear to God. Try to clean it, but nothing works. I don't know what the previous owners did to make it that dirty. And that's not even the biggest problem, is it? You said? Yes. The light in the oven barely works. It doesn't even... It, and it don't... And don't get me started on the heating. It's so sketchy. Yeah, yeah, all of that. And you still managed to make something this good? <laughs> what do you say, Anna? It's, it's tasty. It reminds me of all... Have you ever tried remembering what home was like, Jack? Oh, here we go again. I swallowed, choked, and coughed. But, well, what's what's with that all of a sudden? Anna smiled and went on eating. I was just I was just wondering. No, um, I have not tried to remember what home was like. I uh, I, I don't see why I have to. I'm I'm fine without it. All oh, all right. Got a little accent. It's a shame though. Uh, tough. Um, Jack? Yeah? What is it, Grace? I'm with Anna on this one. Y you are? Yes. Even after you said you were fine with me deciding what's going on in my head. I, I'm trying to think of what's best for you. That's right. You can't spend your life running away from the past. Face it now. Be a man. Get this fucking... Bitch, dude, look at this fucking stare. 
It's not healthy to lock so much of yourself away. It can't be. You have to agree, Jack. I didn't reply. I was, uh, eversecurating a chicken drumstick. Anna, um, I didn't tell you this, but at night, at least once a week, Jack, that's a fool. <laughs> You're a little scared. That's enough! I banged my fist on the table that was immediately shamed that I had lost my temper. I couldn't back down. This has got to do with me and me. Oh my! Stay the hell out of it! Both of you! Do you understand? <laughs> why, why are you so... Ah, uh, it's no good. I've never gotten this angry before. I needed to be alone. So the couch. I walked up to the other room. That didn't help. I could still hear their murmurs and their whispering. They were talking about me. I trust in a hurry. Hmm. Huh? What are you... Are you going out, Jack? I nodded. Have fun. Wait, don't go. I'm sorry I kept insisting so much. You know I'm trying to help, right? Yeah. And please don't be mad. I couldn't stop being angry. It was stronger than me. Um, can you do just one thing for me? Just so I know all I could do. Do what? Can you say you're fine with? No, please say that you don't want to remember. Can you do that for me? Of course. I hesitated longer than I thought I would. Suddenly it struck me I was being childish as hell. On the end, my anger and my stubbornness won over. I don't want to remember. There. You happy now? I wanted things to stay as they were. That's all I've ever wanted. Nothing to change. Because for once, I was happy. I... Well... I'm sorry. You should be. Oh, Jack's got a little, little sass. <laughs> a little bit of a little, little bit. I walked out. By the time I came back, Grace was gone. Gone where? Where did she go? August 17th. I came back hours later after a little drinking and a little out of pointless wandering. A couple of Jack and Cokes. The apartment was empty, her things were gone, but I only realized that after I read the letter, the letter was on the table next to our half-finished dinner. There was a key next to the letter to her key to the apartment. I remember the letter word for word, so why don't I write it down here? Wouldn't that be fun? Jack, I said, I can't stay with you anymore. You're only going to make yourself more miserable, and I can't help you. I can't watch you do this to yourself. I pray there's someone who can help you like I couldn't. I hope you'll be happy. Goodbye. If Grace didn't need to sign the message, I would have recognized those neat letters anywhere. I'd seen the same handwriting during our brief year together on dozens, if not hundreds, of little notes. Shift schedules or reminders to buy snacks or milk, things like that. They were, in fact, at least half a dozen of the yellow posts that she used to sew around the apartment. Seeing them hurt. There are a lot of other things Grace hadn't taken with her, too. Socks, pants, a few undershirts, a scarf, one pair of shoes, a sweater she really liked, too. She would have been worn the sweater while napping in the evening. It's all evidence how much of a hurry she'd been in to get away from me. Now I know better. Shit. Oh, it's bright. Shit. Oh. Good morning, everyone. The patients all greeted her. I do, too. Well, well. I'm happy to see you finally stopped being Mr. Grumpy. Well, you know. Do you feel better? Does does the leg still hurt? I'm a little better, I guess. At peace. That's great. You'll be up on your feet in no time, I'm sure. Feel free to come back home. I laugh like hell. Anna probably doesn't see what's so funny. She smiles vacantly. I guess she does love me in her own way. Doesn't matter, though. Remembering the pain she caused me has given me conviction. My heart is still killing her. Okay. Okay. 
August 18th. My health is vastly improving. Doctor's words. Those. And I feel it. I don't wake up at night so much anymore. Choking on pain. And I don't get so angry anymore that I have to chew my own fingers so I don't end up shouting. I really am at peace. I know what to do. And I know I have to do it. I really don't have a choice in the matter. I'm a, I'm a train going down a set of tracks at a few hundred miles per hour. No turns, no brakes. Whatever happens will happen. It's strangely calming. For now, I'll keep on writing. Uh, I know a good point to stop. Apparently it was right there. After Grace left, I spent the first night alone on the kitchen floor. It's uh, rough, buddy. It was where my legs happened to give in under me after hours of walking back and forth in the apartment. I had paced around like a caged animal, looking under pillows and carpets, poking my head in the closet. I don't know why. Maybe I thought I'd find her there. I woke up in the afternoon with a blanket over me. I thought that Grace had done it, that she'd come back. She hadn't. I guess it must have been Anna. Oh boy. I didn't go to work. I didn't eat. I remember drinking any water, but I must have. And I must have slept a lot too. It turned out I needed Grace more than I thought I did. Certainly more than she needed me. I was all alone that night. On that day. That night. And the day after too. Right up until the evening. That's when she made her move. Oh no. Oh no. The windows were closed and the blinds were drawn. Must have been stuffy and hot in the apartment. I lie on the couch shivering. I held it to my chest the sweater Grace had left. I was about to slip into uncomfortable sleep when the front door opened. My heart skipped a beat before the sight of the person coming in disappointed me. Ooh, what a nice dress. Look at that. Hello? Jack? I stared at her. What's wrong? Stare. She tried to get me to talk, but I was not in a talking mood. Eventually, he found the letter still on the table, pretending to find it. Oh, Jack. Oh, darling. Go away. Leave me be. You're hurt, I know. She's terrible, isn't she, to have hurt you so badly? She's... The sweater was soft against my skin. I smelled of her. I know, I know, she's awful. Let me help. She brought her hand near to my face, turned my head away. I'm the one who can make you happy, you know. You wouldn't have to remember that girl ever again. You wouldn't want to, I promise. Her hand found my cheek. It had only been two days since I had last seen Grace had last touched her, but it was like I had already forgotten a person's warmth. I raised my hand to bat hers away, and I found that I couldn't do it. Instead, I put my hand on hers. Oh. Oh, no. I was close to tears. There were so many emotions in me that I confused and overwhelmed me. But Anna was there. Anna was here. She was whispering. That smirk on her face, dude. She wanted this to happen. She pl she planned this. We made love there. On the couch. Ooh. Okay. Alrighty. Afterwards, I used the sweater to wipe the sweat off me. Us took a turn. Anna lay next to me, soft and warm, with her arms wrapped around one of mine. In the morning after the long, long night, Anna looked to me and asked me a question. I'm tired, aren't you? Uh-huh. I won't go to work today. I'm calling sick. What about you? I don't know. I won't go to work. 
I hadn't thought, uh, thought at all about work. It was so irrelevant. That's a good idea. Hey, I'm going to my apartment. I want to have a nice hot shower. Come with? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Sure. Yes. Uh, okay, my apartment had a perfectly working shower, of course, but I didn't uh, want to be by myself. Then she started sharing the shower. I was scared. After I had a shower at her place, Anna told me I could stay there for a while. So you feel better, she told me. What do you say? I said yes. Like the fool that I was. And that's how it went. Jack, you fool. You fool, Jack. I don't feel shame for what I did. I know I should, but I don't. The problem is, I don't really feel like I did any of that. It's like I was watching myself do those things, watching myself get tricked and cheat on Grace and live with that woman who's caused so much misery to so many people. I know I should be ashamed. It's a disgusting thing I did. I can't take it back. I let myself be more. I let myself be made into an animal. That one whole month is something I'd like to forget and to never remember. So I won't write about it <laughs> or about anything more. I've written enough. I'm done. This journal's helped me a lot, and I don't need it anymore. Oh, here we go. Here we, here we go. This is it, then. It's goodbye. So goodbye. JF. Jack Friday. I woke up and found the room dark. Incredibly dark. Okay, wait. A brand of happiness. Chapter 5. Incredible dark. Incredibly dark. It didn't matter if my eyes were open or closed. The image didn't change. Something wasn't right. The air smelled different. Grace made a stop moaning sound and her sleep. She lay next to me. I reached down to make absolutely sure she was there. Oh. Hmm, <laughs> Jack. To hear her voice instead was like finding a snake in my bed. Music. I almost fell over a nightstand. You okay? Bad dream? Stay, uh. She touched me, skin against skin. I remember where I was and why I was here. Better? Yeah. Sorry about that. Good. I settled back down onto my side of the bed. Anna ruffled my hair. Ruffled up my hair? You startled me. I didn't mean to. It's okay. I know you wouldn't do that. Because you love me. Alrighty. Dear diary. It's all been worth it. All the years of waiting and hoping has been so worth it. I never expected it to go as well as it did. Now I feel so silly I ever worried. Grace, the whore, is out of the picture. Oh, shit. It was easy. She was so scared of everything, and Jack is all mine. I expected he would struggle a lot more. I'm so proud of him. Even in the terrible state he's in, no memories of us at all. He knew in his heart that he picked me over her. You're so cute, Jack. The way you're absolutely helpless without me. I'll pamper you a little more, and I can do it. There's no hurry. There's no rush. We've reached out. We've reached our happy ending. I paced around Anna's room. Step. Step, 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 turn. Step, 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 turn. It wasn't a very large room, but the same size as mine in. Step, 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 turn. It was dark. The curtains were drawn. Would have been dark without them, too. The alarm clock's neon green digits hovering in the dark showed that it was 5, 10 a.m. And that it was Monday. Step, step, step. On his bed, sheets rustled. She mumbled something and sat up. Jack, why are you... I took a deep breath. It helped me keep my voice from shaking as I answered. It's nothing. Go back to sleep. What is it? Something is wrong, isn't it? Tell me. I'll make it go away. No, please. It's stupid. Tell me. I stepped closer to the bed. Banging my skin on my shin on its side, side. 
side and side. It's it's Monday. Anna glanced over my shoulder at the alarm clock. Yep, it is. So, I work when Grace, when she, when I came back to an empty apartment, it was early Friday morning. I missed work on Friday. It must be thin ice already. I didn't even call in. And just don't go in. But, but if I don't go today, they'll fire me for sure. So, what do you mean, so? This is serious. Don't be upset here. Here. Anna got up lazily and kissed me, held me. Stood there for a few moments in silence. There. Doesn't it all seem better now? But, but, I still. Uh. Uh. No, sweetie. Stay in today. She pressed herself hard against me. Hard. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. <clears throat> I felt her softness, the heat of her body. I could hardly feel anything else. You don't want to go to work, do you? I don't. I, I, I don't. But I mean, I have to. You don't have to. It'll be fine. The world will end. I was going to complain again, but she pressed a finger to my lips. You know what? An idea just came to me. If you just move out of that awful apartment and come live with me instead, you won't have to work in that awful store anymore, either. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it does sound really nice. Sound, it sounded so good, yeah. Um, Anna uh, understood me so well. Wow, she just, she just knows me. I wasn't sure of myself. I asked if I was really fine for me to stay here for good. Of course. Uh, I wouldn't want you anywhere else. Dear diary. Oh my god, oh my goodness. How is this going so well? I, it, it never worked so well before. Not with the patients I tried it on, even though they were terminal. Um. What? Even though I had no one to visit them. All of them kept being themselves right up to the end. When with Jack and do anything, he's like clay. I can change him into anyone, anything I want. How awful. He's so lucky that I it, that it's me doing this. How you can imagine someone else with the kind of responsibility. No, no, no. What am I saying? Nobody could make him so willing to change. Me. Only me. He's only like this because he loves me so much. He always loved me, even when he didn't realize it. Okay. And he'll always love me, and I'll always love him, and we'll be together forever. Forever. Oh, I'm so happy I could scream. Right now, I'm only teasing him a little bit, but that's okay. We have all the time in the world. Unlike those other boys, he's not about to expire. Yo, what the fuck? Days went by. Maybe a week. Jack. Come on, Jack. A laugh. A laugh. If you don't let go of me, I can't go to work, you know. Then don't go. So as simple as that. Stay here. Hey, one of us has to go. We need it to live. I need you to live. Oh, jeez, Jack. Uh, did it took a turn. Mm -hmm. That's very sweet, but I, I still have to go. I won't budge. I wouldn't budge. She ran her fingers through my hair. I liked that. If you get off me now, I promise I'll have a special surprise for you when I get back. Really? For real? Really, I promise. Okay. I forced myself to let her go. And after she went away, I laid back down on the bed. I waited for her to come back. I did nothing else. Anna's surprise was a big plastic bag. It was swollen, full of something. I looked at her, then at it, then at her, then at it. I frowned, and then at it, I frowned. 
<clears throat> you see? Come. We need to go somewhere. Go. Outside? Yes. Isn't that exciting? What the way? What? You don't want to? I held a pillow in front of me. It's meant to act as a barrier. Oh, big scary cat. He's fucking. He's gonna go outside. Come on. I took my arm and pulled. I wouldn't go. Grip is strong. Maybe I've gotten weak. I stayed in place. Huh? You really don't want to go? Let's. How come we can't just stay here? Oh, sweetie. I don't want the apartment to burn down. What? That was a fireworks. Show me get dressed in the outside in outside clothes. They were rugged and cold. There was, uh, the outside was even more rugged and cold. The street was wet. It must have rained. The people that were uh, the people there were giving me looks. They were looking at me like I was trash. Trash. Why? What have I done to them? What have I ever done to anyone? Oh, hey. Uh, ease up a little. You, you, you hurt my hand. I'm sorry. That, that's okay. Um, if you really don't like it, we can go back home right now. Really? Yes. But I know you can do this. So, will you do it? For me? Ah. I. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you, Jack. You're so good to me. You're so, you're so good to me, Jack. I, I, I didn't deserve a man like you. Where are we going? Where are we walking? We walked for over 15 minutes. My feet hurt. My legs made it clicking sounds. I hadn't really walked in over a week. That's not good. But I didn't complain. That's not good at all, Comet. We're almost there. Do you know where we are? Shook my head. Anna had led me somewhere I had never been. Each street had passed was dirtier and grayer and more abandoned than the last, and the people looked at us all more meanly. I thought they were going to hurt us. But Anna wasn't afraid, so I did my best to be brave. Too. Whenever she she had in the plastic bed, it wasn't heavy. I was full. It was almost the shape of a big ball. But it still swung so lightly. Well. What do you think is in there? Anna had, uh, had no uh, me looking. I don't know. You want to guess? Didn't. I told her I didn't. I told her I couldn't think of anything. Oh, well. You'll see soon enough. The destination uh, I saw five minutes later was an empty street. The whole street, blocks and blocks of it, completely abandoned. The pavement was cracked. The buildings were still stood were hollow. Everything was overgrown with weeds. It's more of a jungle than a city street. It was ugly. I hated to even look at it. This fucking bitch space. Look at it. Isn't it so beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Comet. Super beautiful. What? What? Okay. I'll show you the best spot here. It's my favorite. But it'll be our secret, okay? You can't tell anyone else. Okay. Passed through a tunnel like opening is set in a tall, wide building. Um, beyond it was a field of brown and yellow grass. It came up to my chest. Surrounding the grass were the sides of a large pyramid building. This used to be its courtyard. The building was a molded, ugly gray. It had most likely been a prettier color before it burned down. Oh, it burned. It's like fire. It had so many windows, none of it, um, which had glass in them. Yep, down at us, empty and dark. On a spot was a square patch of concrete in the middle of the overgrown courtyard. Once there, Anna handed me something from the plastic bag. It was a small glass gas canister and a box of matches. Ooh. So a heartbeat there. 
and she emptied the rest of the bag on the concrete. And when I saw the contents, my chest tightened up and started to hurt. This. Anna, this is... On the ground were a few posted notes, a pair of shoes, but most likely clothes. I'd seen them before. They had belonged to someone I knew. Who? Someone I had known an eternity ago, too long ago to remember. I knew that things were important. You know what this is? Y yes. I shouldn't? It's fine. It's, it's fine if you still recognize them. Completely fine. You're not mad? I'm not mad. Give me that. Uh, grab the gas canister from my hands. She poured the gas out of the clothes and the shoes and the post-it notes down on the last strap. She cried. Then she tossed the canister aside and stepped away. The canister made a tiny empty sound as it hit the concrete. Tunk. Tunk. After that, there was silence. Uh, should I? What do you think you should do? Really not mad? Do what you think you need to do, Jack. Do it quick. It's a growing dog. I didn't bring a flashlight. So I did what I thought I needed to do. I let a match. Took me uh, three tries to get it right. Because of my clumsy fingers. Uh, created a little fire in my hands. I brought it over to her things. They were wet and stink of gasoline. Held the match above them. Why are you hesitating? Don't you want to do this? I, uh, I don't know. I needed to do what Anna wanted me to do, but the thought of doing it made me want to lie down and cry. I couldn't explain uh, why those uh, were so dear to me. I missed what the next part said. Uh, the flame had almost reached to my fingers. Anna, I don't think. Do it. Drop the match. A little fire touched gasoline and it bloomed. That sudden heat made me step back. Those things, those shoes and clothes and little yellow notes, all crackling and turning into charcoal. Anna stood by me. I waited for her to scold me, but she didn't. She put her hand in mine, her fingers interlocked. You did well. I, I did? Yes. When it came down to it, you did what you should. I'm proud of you. The warmth filled my chest. My worry for those scattered pieces of nothing on the ground faded away. I was with the love of my life and she loved me and was proud of me. How could I care about some? Couldn't remember what it had been anymore. Old clothes? Whatever. Anna giggled. <laughs> I like the music though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. It made me so glad to see Anna happy. I pulled her closer. After a good minute of laughing, she sighed as she spent and looked up at me. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> yep. The things on the ground had already gone out. They were black and unrecognizable. Let's go back home. Okay, Anna. Haha, <laughs> you're so happy, aren't you? And, why wouldn't you be? I'm happy too. The happiest I've ever been. Me too. The happiest I've ever been. Best job I've ever had. Really? Yep. Thank you, Jack. That means the world to me. We went away hand in hand. Aww. But before we walked out into the grass again, I looked back one last time at the things I burned. Suddenly moved at the edge of my vision, up in one of the glassless windows. I looked again, but it was gone. This place is dangerous. Hmm. Whew. 